The red-fronted cana, or parakeet, Eratinga waglery, is native to Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Venezuela. Seasonal migrations, between latitudes as well as from one area to another, occur depending on the availability of food and suitable nesting sites. It is usually seen in flocks of 20 to 200 birds on rare occasions, even up to 400 of them can be found at favored feeding locations. They are conspicuous because of their loud calls particularly whenever larger groups congregate. Their flight is described as swift and straight with rapid, light wing beats. Their natural diet consists of various types of fruits, including berries, seeds, and nuts found in trees. Occasionally they raids fruit plantations and grain fields causing considerable damage. Captive diet should consist of a balanced diet including a quality seed mix of safflower, hemp, some sunflower, also sprouted, hemp, buckwheat, canary seed and rowan berries, as well as plenty of fruit, vegetables and green food. A regular supply of fresh branches with edible flowers and buds should also be available to satisfy their urge to chew as well as for extra nutrition. Mineral and vitamin supplements as needed. In their natural habitat, breeding season commences in April and goes on until June or July. They usually breed in small colonies and nest on high, inaccessible cliffs. The beautifully colored red-fronted kana is the second largest of all kana species. They average between 14 to 15 inches in length. Their plumage is predominantly green, with breast feathers being colored lighter green than the body feathers. The face above the series, forehead, crown and bend of the wing are red. The undersides of its flight feathers, underwing coverts and tail feathers are olive yellow. The iris is yellow-red, the bills are horn-colored, and the legs of a brownish coloration. Generally speaking, red-fronted kanas are easily trained and make good companions for those who will make an effort to make sure that their environment is stimulating and that they get the attention they so crave. They need larger cages to accommodate the different toys to keep them entertained when their human companions are not available to play with them. This kana learns to talk quite well. Although they are not as noisy as other kana species, they do have the kana high-pitched shriek that may irritate many, but the most tolerant bird lovers. However, they usually scream only if startled or very excited. 